Okay, good morning all of you all. Channel. I hope you have read AIDS and malaria properly. Today we go into one of the most important diseases that affects human mankind. The terrible disease, cancer. Cancer karkarog is there in humans since centuries altogether. Even in the Vedas, they have mentioned about cancer as karkarog. In spite of so much money being invested into research, in spite of so much medical advancement, even today, cancer is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. Heart attack is the number one cause of death. Cancer is the second leading cause of death worldwide. What exactly is a cancer? A cancer is a disease characterized by uncontrolled cell growth. So, in your body, ke andar, kisi bhi ek normal cell, there is a mutation ho jata hai, and that cell becomes a cancerous cell and it starts undergoing replication. The cancerous cell eats up normal body cells causes phagocytosis of the normal body cells and starts forming cancer cells and uncontrolled rapid cell division takes place. What exactly does a cancer cell do? Cancer cells will form uncontrollable cell division, say lumps or masses of tissues which are called as tumors. So cancer cells a normal body cell hota hai, jiske andar mutation ho jane ki wajah se, it undergoes rapid cell division to form big masses which are called as tumors. Tumors also called as neoplasms are formed. Tumors are also called as neoplasms. And suna hai, tumors are of two types. Namely, you have something called malignant tumors and something called as benign tumors. So there are malignant tumors and there are benign tumors. So sir, what is the meaning of malignant tumors or benign tumors? Say suppose a person is an uh, alcoholic. Every night she consumes a lot of alcohol and one day he gets a pain in the abdomen goes to a doctor, the doctor examines him, puts on gloves, palpates him over the liver, he finds there is a big mark, a hard mark felt under the fingertips and that means he is having a tumour. Well, that tumour could be a malignant tumour or it could be a benign tumour. So, sir, this is the liver and suppose you have a benign tumor. A benign tumor is round or oval with cells inside. A malignant tumor has an irregular shape like this. And the first thing the doctor will do is advise, Chalo, aapki ek sonography karte hai. And you do a sonography, you find that round or oval tumor with a capsule around it. A round or oval tumor with a capsule, then that is the benign tumor. If you find an irregularly shaped mass with no capsule around it, then that is the malignant tumor. So benign tumors are round or oval with a capsule, malignant tumors are in regular shape without a capsule. The next thing the doctor will advise, let's do a study of your tumors, let's do a biopsy of your tumor. I'm sure you have heard of it, this is a biopsy. So biopsy me karte kya hai? You take an ultra thin needle and under sonographic guidance, you put the needle into the tumor. Suppose it is a benign tumor, the needle goes inside and then it is rotated 
cells are removed and the cell is put under a microscope. In case of a benign tumor, what you will find under the microscope are round or oval normal liver cells with a small nucleus and abundant cytoplasm. So this is a normal liver cell. If it's a normal liver cell, a hepatocyte, then that is the benign tumor. But if you put the needle inside, remove the cell and put it on the microscope, if you find an irregularly shaped cell like this with a huge nucleus and big nucleus and less cytoplasm, then this is not a liver cell, this is a cancer cell which is also called as the malignant cell. And the cancer cell or malignant cell has a huge nucleus. If you remember, cancer cells are going constant cell division, so its nucleus bada hota hai, cytoplasm kam hota hai, and there is an irregular cell membrane, means this is a malignant tumor or a cancerous tumor. What will happen to a benign tumor? A benign tumor will grow slowly in size. So sir, uh, a benign tumor hai, you tell the person that let's do your surgery. He says, I want to wait for the surgery. You can tell him, okay, come after one month, no problem. What will happen if it's a benign tumor? Cells will divide, one will divide to form two, two will divide to form four, four will divide to form eight and the tumor will slightly increase in size along with the capsule and after one month he comes, you remove the tumor along with the capsule by surgery and he will be absolutely fine. But God forbid it's a malignant tumor, then the malignant tumor has been it cancer cells, malignant cells which undergo rapid cell division and the size of the tumor tremendously increases. Liver cells ko phagocytos karke malignant tumors form new cancer cells. And these cancer cells will now invade blood vessels. And blood vessels ke andar ye cancer cells invade kar sakte hai. And by blood, they will go to different parts of the body and start forming tumors in other parts which is now scientifically called as metastasis has taken place. It says metastasis kept it. So what do we do in case of a malignant tumor found out by sonography or biopsy? We will tell the person emergency mein aapki ek surgery karte hai. And they do the surgery and they remove half of the liver. And the liver is removed and is ka histopathology karte hai. It's called as a histopathological test. And what do you mean by histopathology? We will take the entire mass of the tumor and cut it into small small slices. So chote chote slices karte hai. Each slice is then checked under the microscope for the blood vessels. If you find that the blood vessels are intact, then God's grace, we have just saved him in the nick of time. But if you find that any of the blood vessels has holes in it, which means the cancer cells have already penetrated into the blood vessels and that means spreading or metastasis has taken place. Then we will tell the person, we are very sorry, you have now gone into stage 3 of your cancer. Well, I hope you all have heard of it, cancers are stage. Cancer ke stages hote hai, if the cancer is very small, it is called as stage 1. If the tumor is large, but on histopathology, you find it has not invaded blood vessels, then he is lucky he is in stage 2. 
और स्टेज वन या टू के अंदर सर्जरी करके यू कैन सेव इज लाइफ बट इफ यू फाइंड एनी ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल्स हैज पेनिट्रेटेड एंड इन्वेशन ऑफ कैंसर सेल्स इज टेकन प्लेस देन बट ब्लड द कैंसर इज स्प्रेड विच इज कॉल्ड द मेटास एंड द पर्सन गोज इन टू स्टेज थ्री एंड इफ यू डोंट गिव द कीमोथेरेपी और अदर kind of medication very soon he will go into stage 4 in other words even after the surgery one day about 2 3 months later he starts coughing and in the cough blood comes out you take an x ray of his chest and you find there is a tumor in the lung means the primary cancer was in the liver now by metastasis secondary cancer is in the lung or he is writing something and suddenly becomes unconscious and falls down you take him to the hospital you do a ct scan or an mri of the brain you find in the scan report there is a tumor in the brain because of which he has become unconscious means now the cancer has gone from liver to lungs to brain to other body parts he has gone into stage 4 and will eventually die because of an organ failure so a vital organ fail ho jayega and the person will die because of that so sir benign tumors are relatively safe malignant tumors are dangerous they can cause death prognosis or the chances of survival in a malignant tumor is very poor particularly if it is in stage 3 or stage 4 so malignant tumors will invade blood vessels and blood vessels may invade cuz they have malignant tumors also undergo angiogenesis so for a tumor to grow large it requires continuous nourishment तो मैलिग्रेट ट्यूमर खुद के अंदर ही खुद की बहुत सारी ब्लड वेसल्स बना देता है एंड उसके अंदर एनजीओ ब्लड वेसल जिनेसल मेकिंग मेकिंग ऑफ न्यू ब्लड वेसल विच इज कॉल्ड एज एनजीओ जिनेसल टेक प्लेस ऑल द ब्लड ऑफ द बॉडी गेट डाइवर्टेड टू दीज new blood vessels and nourishment is used by new blood vessels and that's the reason the body weight of a cancer person will tremendously reduce so one of the first signs of cancer a person starts having severe loss of weight because all the nourishment is going to the cancerous tissue and cancer is now taking care of all the nourishment and the weight tremendously decreases this is diagnosed by doctors who are called as oncologists physicians and researchers who specialize in study diagnosis treatment and prevention of cancer are called as oncologists study of cancer is called as oncology third what are the types of cancers cancers ko classify kiya gaya hai into five different categories namely we have carcinoma sarcoma lymphoma leukemia and adenoma so sir what are carcinoma and sarcoma cancers of body organs are called carcinomas and sarcomas cancer of blood is called as lymphoma or leukemia and we have cancer of glands called as adenoma so sabse pehle carcinomas and sarcomas the classification of cancer depends on the origin of that organ so so cancer depend on origin of the organ all organs develop from ectoderm mesoderm or endoderm and we have cancer carcinoma cells of internal and external parts of the body which develop from ectoderm or endoderm if they are ectodermal or endodermal then they are called as carcinoma and if a cancer is of mesodermal origin then they are called as sarcomas so sir carcinomas are ectodermal and endodermal 
sarcomas are mesodermal and carcinomas the which organ if you remember your breast breast develop from uh, i hope you remember from sweat glands which are ectodermal in origin lungs develop from endoderm colo or the intestine the tissues of the inner lining develop from endoderm so sir uh, lungs develop from endoderm so now has cigarette smoking causes cancer of the lung so you can scientifically say cigarette smoking causes pulmonary carcinoma it's a lung cancer it's a lung cancer which is a carcinoma so cigarette smoking causes pulmonary carcinoma over intake of oral contraceptive pills too much cortical consumption can cause breast cancer which is mammary carcinoma mammary carcinoma or eating too much of red meat if you are having too much of red meat it causes colon cancer which is now called as colon carcinoma so sir these are carcinoma too much of ultraviolet light causes skin cancer which is called as cutaneous carcinoma तो सनलाइट से यूवी रेडिएशन से स्किन कैंसर होता है विच इज द कार्सिनोमा ऑफ द स्किन सिमिलरली कैंसर ऑफ मीजोडर्मल ओरिजिन आर कॉल्ड सार्कोमा दे ओरिजिनेट इन बोन बोन्स आर मीजोडर्मल कार्टलेज आर मीजोडर्मल फैट मीजोडर्म कनेक्टिव टिश्यू मीजोडर्म मसल मीजोडर्म अदर सपोर्टिव टिश्यू मीजोडर्म तो सर सुना है बोन कैंसर Bone cancer can be called as an osteosarcoma. It's a sarcoma of the bone, osteosarcoma. Cartilage cancers are called as chondrosarcoma. Similarly, fat cancers are called liposarcoma. Muscle cancers are called myosarcoma. So all these are called as sarcoma. and then we have lymphoma cancer that begin in lymph nodes and tissues of immune system are called as lymphoma so sir a person with cancer of his lymph nodes so sir some your lymph nodes in the neck region swell or in the armpit lymph node swell or in the abdomen lymph node swell and sir they are swollen you palpate them you can touch the lymph node then feel these lymph nodes then they are called as lymphoma and you have leukemia cancer which begin in the bone marrow and accumulate in the blood stream or blood stream may you find that the number of cancer cells is tremendously increase then blood cancer is called as a leukemia so so if you go to the बहुत सारे छोटे छोटे बच्चों को होता है एंड करने वाला बच्चा ऑफ़ द बिल्डिंग सबके घर में जाता है खाता है पीता है मस्ती करता है वन डे वॉज इन द स्कूल एंड वॉज रनिंग एंड प्लेइंग विद फ्रेंड सडनली द बॉय लूज कॉन्शियसनेस एंड ही फॉल्स डाउन Uh, parents immediately take him to a pediatrician to a child specialist he says let's do a blood test of this child his blood test is done and the pediatrician says i'm so sorry to inform you your child is having leukemia your child is having blood cancer then sir this blood cancer is diagnosed how do we diagnose blood cancer ये ब्लड कैंसर कैसे डायग्नोज किया गया द पेडियाट्रिशियन रीज इन द रिपोर्ट हिज डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट हैज बिकम एबनॉर्मली हाई हिज डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट हैज बिकम मोर देन वन लैक डब्ल्यू बी सी पर क्यूबिक मिलीमीटर ऑफ ब्लड a normal wbc count i hope you remember which has a total that 4000 to 11000 per cubic mm of blood 
in case of leukemia it becomes more than 1 lakh wbc per ml of blood and this child is having leukemia and immediately if the chemotherapy starts at hai and one of the only ways to save this child is going for a bone marrow transplantation so, Usi ke blood brother, blood sister, real brother sister, somebody closely related to him, Uska a normal bone marrow, Uske bone mitre nikala chata hai. This is a normal bone marrow, and you remove cancerous bone marrow of this child, or Uske brother ka normal bone marrow, Uske insert kiya jata hai. The normal bone marrow will produce more of RBCs compared to WBCs and as a reason the RBC count of this child will increase. What happens when a child with leukemia because his WBC count becomes very high, his RBC count becomes very low. If you remember, the main problem is both RBCs and WBCs are made in the bone marrow. So if in bone marrow mein, normally zyada RBC bante hai, millions mein. Or WBCs come when they have thousands of If child in the leukemia may be reversed, more of cancerous WBCs are made and this RBC count becomes very less. So you have to increase this RBC count. So Usiki brother or sister ka normal bone marrow de hai, which will produce a sufficient number of red blood cells and possibly extend this child's life for a few years, and that is a dangerous disease called as leukemia. And you have adenomas, cancers of glands. So suppose you have thyroid gland cancer, pituitary gland cancer, adrenal gland cancer, then they are called as adenoma. So you have thyroid adenoma, pituitary adenoma, adrenal adenoma, glandular tissues are called as adenoma. And then we have how does the cancer develop? So sir, normally your cells of the body when they are dividing are having a continuous contact with each other. Cells are intimately in contact with each other and because cells are in contact, do you remember when we had cleavage? Kiya tha? Zygote becomes 2 cell, 4 cell, 8 cell, 15 cell and all the cells were sharing their cell membranes with each other. And as long as they are sharing cell membranes with each other, they don't undergo uncontrolled division, which is called as contact inhibition. Contact inhibition. But suppose a mutation takes place in one of the cells, then sir, this cell will lose contact with the normal cell. Yes, cell. Normal cells say contact loose kar leta hai and that means there is a lack of contact inhibition. A lack of contact inhibition takes place and this cell now undergoes rapid cell division and becomes an uncontrolled cell division. It eats up the normal body cells and starts forming more and more cancer cells and that is the way by loss of contact inhibition a malignant cell eats away the normal cell and develops cancer in your body. So loss of contact inhibition is the reason for tumors to develop. And so what are the causes of cancer? Cancers are caused due to transformation of normal cells to cancer cells which are also called as neoplastic cells due to agents called as carcinogen. Any cancer causing agent is called as a carcinogen. Carcinogen can be physical, chemical, biological and any carcinogen which is a physical, chemical or biological agent, here we have a few examples, physical agent, X-rays, gamma rays, non-ionizing radiations like UV rays can cause DNA mutation. So sir, uh, samjho, 
एक एक्सरे वाला होता है सर वेन एवर वी गो फॉर अन एक्सरे देन सर यू आर हैविंग अ माइल डोज एक्सरे बीइंग टेकन दैट विल नॉट कॉज यू एनी हार्म बट समटाइम यू हैव अ लैब टेक्नीशियन एंड द लैब टेक्नीशियन इज टेकिंग योर एक्सरे and he takes so many x-rays every day of so many people and sir he is continuously exposed to x-rays and sir he will have all those accumulated x-rays causing a mutation of his bone marrow and he may develop leukemia blood cancer if he is all x-ray technicians are taught that before you take the normal x-ray of a person wear protective clothes or unko i hope you heard of it lead ke plate bithaye jate cross piece with lead plates in it lead plumbum is an excellent absorbent of x-ray Lead does not allow X-ray to pass through it, so उनको lead की plates पहनाई जाती है, so that they don't get X-rays causing a leukemia. Similarly, gamma rays, non-ionizing radiations like UV rays, ultraviolet light causes skin cancer. Gamma rays cause leukemia. And as a matter of fact, one of the worst things that has ever happened in history. the bombing of hiroshima and nagasaki in japan in the world war us had dropped atomic bombs on them and those radiation spread in the cities of hiroshima and nagasaki they entered the body and caused severe mutations and today even 60 70 80 years down the line you are having people born in hiroshima and nagasaki who develop uterus cancer breast cancer stomach cancer so so the mutations are horrible they don't only affect one generation they affect generation after generation isliye there should be nuclear deterrence all over the world nuclear warfare is the worst thing that can happen from one human to another mankind ka sabse bada problem ho sakta hai nuclear power and then you have chemical agents tobacco smoke causes lung cancer whenever a person smokes cigarette cigarettes have in them nicotine coal tar and benzo pyrene usme nicotine is the main chemical which causes stimulation and the person gets a kick out of smoking the cigarette but the main danger is not nicotine the main danger is coal tar which you remember causes emphysema of the lungs and benzo pyrene which cause mutations in the alveoli lung cells and cause lung cancer so cigarette smoking benzo pyrene cause lung cancer alcohol causes liver cancer alcohol the liver ka cancer hota hai cadmium causes bone cancer arsenic causes skin cancer lead causes kidney cancer as a matter of fact lots of traffic police hawaldar used to have kidney cancer and it was diagnosed that kidney cancers are because of continuous inhalation of exhaust from car तो कार के एग्जॉस्ट पाइप से स्मोक आता था उसमें लेग होता था उससे किडनी कैंसर होती थी एंड एज रीज नाउ इट इज वर्ल्ड वाइड इफ यू वर्ड ऑफ एक्ट अनलेडेड पेट्रोलियम इज यूज बिकॉज लेड कॉजस किडनी कैंसर पेट्रोलियम में से लेड निकाल दिया जाता है एंड अनलेडेड पेट्रोलियम इज यूज एंड कॉपर कॉजेज वेल्स ट्यूमर ऑफ द किडनी कॉपर से कॉपर इंटॉक्सिकेशन से विल्स ट्यूमर ऑफ द किडनी होती है और उसमें आंखों के अंदर आयरस मसल में एक येलो कलर की रिंग आ जाती है एंड बाय डायग्नोसिंग द येलो रिंग इन द आयरस वी कैन मेक आउट दैट दिस पर्सन इज हैविंग विल्स ट्यूमर ऑफ द किडनी एंड बिकॉज ऑफ कॉपर इंटॉक्सिकेशन एंड देन यू हैव बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट एच आई वी कॉजेस 
Kaposi sarcoma. I hope you remember all of you all. Last lecture we had done that HIV virus causes cancer of blood capillaries and blood capillaries rupture and causes red purple colored dots which is called as Kaposi sarcoma. Hepatitis B virus causes liver cancer. Hepatitis B is by sexual route or by blood transfusion or naam se malu hai hepatitis causes inflammation of the liver and causes liver cancer. Human papilloma virus causes cervical cancer. I talked to this when they done diseases of reproductive system, gonorrhea, syphilis, you know, a long time ago, human health and diseases. Uh, human papilloma virus is a sexually transmitted disease in which the male is a carrier, but when he ejaculates in a female, his female has an it human papilloma virus which causes cervical cancer, cervix cancer. Epstein Barr virus and cytomegalovirus cause nasopharyngeal cancer. Epstein Barr virus and cytomegalovirus can spread by kissing. Salivary contact se pass ho sakta. So if you pass a kiss someone and third salivary transmission hota hai, then Epstein Barr virus and cytomegalovirus they can enter your mouth and your pharynx and cause nasopharyngeal cancer. And schistosoma hematobium is a worm which causes urinary bladder cancer. So all these are biological agents which cause cancer. So we have physical, chemical and biological agents which cause cancer. And third, how does the can carcinogen actually cause cancer? Well, you are supposed to know this, we all have genes for cancer. So, we all have cancer in the form of something called as proto-oncogy. So, our cells have in there proto-oncogy. Our DNA has in it proto-oncogy and proto-oncogy are cancer causing genes. Oncogy. But luckily, these proto oncogenes are recessive. So they are not doing protein synthesis, they are recessive oncogenes called as proto oncogenes. But suppose you take a cigarette smoke or you consume alcohol, then benzopyrene from cigarette or ethyl alcohol causes stimulation of the proto oncogene which will then become active. So carcinogen activates the proto-oncogene to become an active oncogene and the oncogene now causes loss of contact inhibition and a rapid cell division takes place and that causes cancer in a person. So sir, here we have to tell you proto-oncogene and then if we take carcinogen, liya, it will become oncogene, transfer a normal cell into a neoplastic cell and form a tumor or a cancer. Chuck, so we have done this. We will now talk about signs and symptoms of cancer and treatment of cancer. We will have a small break and I will continue with this part.